minimum QRP part two. In part one, I said there are some things you could do to make the station even smaller. Maybe I've gone to an extreme because, believe it or not, I have a complete station and no backpack. Everything fits in pockets. Here's the transceiver, the little 40 meter CW rig, 100 milliwatt output, and it also includes the batteries. In the other pocket is the antenna, a wire 22 meters long, and some other wire to support the squid pole. And finally, some other bits and pieces the crystal earphone for the transceiver, a little ATU, I'll talk about that later, and a little field strength meter. With such a small station, there's obviously a lot of trade-offs, like being restricted to CW, only one band, and only 100 milliwatts. Having downsized the transmitting equipment, the biggest part is the squid pole. However, at this location, there's not too many other high supports so I'm pretty much stuck with it. But if I was going out the bush, I'd just need a fishing sinker and some line. The antenna coupler just plugs into the transceiver. I've attached a radial. It's only a couple of metres long as a counterpoise. This is the field strength meter. Very simple, just a diode and RF choke on the back of a meter. switch to transmit, key down and you adjust the capacitor setting for maximum meter deflection. you send Morse code on it awesome. and that can be <laughs> heard hundreds of K away hundreds of K away? yeah torch batteries ah, that's all <laughs> that's all yeah amazing a critical part of minimum QRP is an antenna matcher an antenna matcher is smaller than coax feed line and allows operation on several bands with the one wire. I call it the Match 22 because it operates with around 22 metres of wire. Though this is nothing special and a few metres either side should be okay. It offers a high impedance on 7 megahertz. So you don't need to worry much about an earth radial. A short counterpoise of a few metres will be fine. Inside is pretty simple. There's three RF chokes a tuning capacitor and a switch. That's a centre off switch. I use that so you can get three positions. It costs a little bit more but it's worth it if you want to cover several bands. I should point out it's a bit of a compromise with only three coil positions. But it seems to deliver a one-to-one -one SWR according to the FT817's meter. Now it's not particularly accurate but it does seem to work on air. You just select the band with the switch and peak for maximum noise. You may need to make small adjustments for lowest SWR beyond that. The panel sockets used will accept bits of wire that have been twisted and folded back on themselves. Uh, but that's what you'd expect uh, in this 
The weather is good, yeah, I can't complain, eh?